So I am now getting into the first week of um, a cycle after having done my NEAT. And so that means kind of a recovery cycle. So um, today I didn't actually get a few sets um, filmed. So I did another set of 140 for four and it didn't get filmed. I'd like to point out that I basically have like an audience in the back for this um, measly set of 140 for four. I don't even know why they were interested, but like whatever. So uh, I definitely, you know, I'm definitely getting back into the psychology of doing like a squat session um, I think that was probably one of the more daunting aspects of today was going in there and kind of having my head right because I haven't really done squat workouts um, to any great regular extent in a while. Now I've gotten back into it. I've been doing various squat workouts in the last week, but um, today was like the first kind of quote unquote real one. So it's a little bit more volume based. Um, it's a little bit uh, lighter in terms of the intensity and everything's scaled back a little bit to work me into um, lifting again, um, training again. And so I'm, I'm okay with kind of how things went um, and what I'm seeing here. It's not fantastic uh, in terms of, I don't know, speed and, and kind of maybe even just what my hips are doing in the hole as usual. So I feel like, I do wanna say that I really feel like I kind of ended up having a meet in the middle of all these revelations with, with my squat. Like I came up with, you know, some things about my squat that I found really intriguing and then the meet happened and I was like, oh, I haven't really resolved any of these. So, um, so now I'm kind of just picking right back up where I left off with trying to troubleshoot things, which means that I'm going to be doing box squatting this cycle and you're about to see I am so embarrassed to put this on. It's just like the most horrible stuff you've ever seen. I, uh, I don't regularly box squat. I know there are a lot of people out there who do a lot of box squatting. I don't think, I think I haven't done it in like four or five months, honestly. Uh, and so it reveals, and we're about to see this, it reveals this like, well, first of all, I don't know how to do it. And I was just really kind of rocking back into this um, uh, kind of high bar positioning, which for the way that I squat just isn't fantastic. Um, but also I just, uh, I have this real sticking point. And so you're kind of kind of see how weak I am through it. I mean, you know, 110 for six reps is just not um, something I'm incredibly proud of here. And um, so I think though, you know, really breaking up that chain of motion and then I'm, um, you know, and then me kind of trying to work through that point using box squats will probably help with my squat overall. Uh, that's kind of my theory. If I'm this weak at this, um, it suggests that I have a real weakness, uh, you know, in the, in the chain of events in my squat. Okay, the set is like, I did another set after this and I didn't get it recorded. And I think it was much, uh, frankly, I think it was a lot better than this. Now that first rep is okay, but um, I think it's the fourth or the fifth one. I think I just lost my balance or something, and then it just took me a while to recover. I am so embarrassed. God, this is terrible. I'm so embarrassed about this. Anyway, you uh, you have to work with your weaknesses, and that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, and in the meantime, I'll give you kind of here we go. Oh my God, what is that? Jeez, um, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, you have to kind of like I said, show your weaknesses, and I'm doing that today. Uh, maybe better things tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe not. Uh, well, thanks for watching.